Welcome to part three of Storage Water Heater 101, where we'll talk about the energy efficiency and the insulation requirements for installing the materials, valves and connections. The work covered in this video isn't for beginners and should only be undertaken by a qualified and licensed professional. Let's get started. Piping associated with water heaters must be thermally insulated to achieve a minimum R value for the relevant climate region according to the legislation. For example, climate region A, which includes Brisbane, requires an R value of 0.3 for pipes and 0.2 for fittings. The total R values may be achieved in this example by using 9mm of closed cell polymer for R value 0.2 and 13mm of closed cell polymer for R value 0.3. The inlet and outlet pipes, including valves and fittings for a water heater, must be insulated with minimum R values for at least the first 500 millimetres. You also need to insulate all relief valves fitted directly to a water heater, and I'm not talking about their drain lines. This insulation should not impede the operation of the valves. Other piping may also require thermal insulation with minimum R values. For example, for non-circulating heated water piping, all external piping from the water heater to the primary kitchen sink requires insulation. Make sure all thermal insulation exposed to the weather is made of weather-resistant material or surrounded by a weather-resistant enclosure. Thanks for tuning in. You might want to check out part four, where we talk about drain lines. Mm -hmm.